In today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix your iPhone if it suddenly keeps on shutting down and turning on randomly, okay? For example, if it's constantly restarting, turning off and on on its own, I'll show you how to fix this issue in today's video. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech-related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So jumping straight into the video, this is a common bug that I've been receiving here in the comment section of other videos where people actually suggested me to make a video on how to fix this common issue. Before we even get started, I want to let you guys know that this may be a software issue as well as a hardware issue, okay? So if it's a software issue, you'll be able to fix it very easily. But if it's a hardware issue, you might need to get something replaced on your phone. So the very first thing that I would recommend you guys to check is to check if your iPhone is regularly getting slow. If it regularly gets slow, or stocks, it might be the case that it's automatically restarting because it usually crashes, okay? So the very first thing I would recommend you guys to check is your storage by tapping here on general on settings and then tapping on iPhone storage. Double check your storage to see if you've got some free storage or if your phone is full, okay? So you wanna make sure that you at least have five gigabytes of free storage. In my case, I've gotten here around 10 gigabytes of free space which is totally fine, okay? So this is the first common issue that causes this problem right here. Now, if you've got a good free storage on your phone, then we're gonna move into the second step where I would recommend you guys to check for updates by tapping on general and then tapping on software update and see if you've got a pending update because it might be the case that this might be a software bug, okay? So updating your phone, might help fixing your phone. In my case, I've got in here a pending update that needs to be done, right? So it's important to be up to date always as well. Now, the next step, which is the step number three, is to perform a forced restart here on your phone. So in order to perform a forced restart, it's very easy. You just need to rapidly tap on volume up and then volume down and then press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo here on your screen. This is how it goes up, down, and then pressing and holding the power button. Do not release it. Keep on holding it for a couple seconds. Here we go. I'm still pressing and holding the power button. As soon as you see the Apple logo, you're gonna release the button and let your phone turn on automatically, okay? If you've got a much older phone, such as an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, in order to perform this, you need to press and hold the volume down button along with the power button here keep on pressing them until you see the apple logo and then release both of the buttons now if you've got an iphone like an iphone 5 6 or any other iphone that has a physical home button down here you're gonna press and hold the home button along with the power button like this pressing and holding both of them until you see the apple logo and then you're gonna release the buttons now on iphone 4 and iphone 5 models you have the power button here at the top so you'll have to press the power button along with the physical home button down here until you see the Apple logo to force restart your iPhone. Next up, you're gonna check if your issue is solved or not. Now, if the issue still persists, what I would recommend you guys to do is to calibrate your battery, okay? So you need to perform a fully discharge of your phone and then charge it back on all the way to 100%. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be opening YouTube and applications that do waste all of your charge. You're gonna be like listening to videos and stuff like that, random stuff, until you get to 0%. You're gonna let your phone turn off completely, okay? And then you're gonna connect your charger and let it charge for a couple hours until it's fully turned on and on 100%. And during the charging process, do not use your phone. Keep it charging, keep it laying down in order to get this problem sorted out. Now, if this doesn't help, I would recommend you guys to go into settings, scroll down all the way to battery right here, tap on battery, and then you're gonna tap here on battery health and charging, and I would recommend you guys to check your battery health. So you need to check the battery health and its maximum capacity, which is 74%. So if it's anywhere below 85%, I would recommend you guys to actually try to get your battery replaced because the problem 
might be on your phone that is not working properly here with the peak performance capability okay so this is something important to check and as you guys can see even my battery is already in a bad condition as you guys can see there's an important message which says your battery's health is significantly degraded, okay? An Apple authorized service provider can replace the battery to restore full performance and capacity. So if this is the case, I would recommend you guys to approach a repair shop and see if you can replace your battery here on your phone. I hope this video really helped you fixing this issue. If you find my content useful here on YouTube, consider liking the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel as this helps me in reaching more people facing the same problem as yours. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.